there's an age limit for bullying, you're wrong. It can happen to anyone at any time. So I began to withdraw further and further in on myself. By show of hands, I'd like to know who here has ever felt happy before. Right? Is everyone's hand up? And I just didn't tell anybody about it because I thought that that was how we were going to have a relationship. But that is no way to begin a relationship. I felt like I needed to pretend like I was somebody different. There are consequences to every choice you make in life. So if you or anybody that you, can, that you know can relate to anything that I've said today, please, please tell somebody. Uh, guidance counselors, parents, friends, tell somebody who can do something about it and keep telling somebody until you get the help that you need. My name is Amanda Beard. I'm a four-time Olympian, seven-time Olympic medalist. I've been swimming since I was four years old. At the age of 13, I was actually on the USA national team. I never talked about my personal issues, you know, things that I've encountered throughout my life or anything like that. But I feel good today because even when everything feels like it's gone wrong, I don't run off into the bathroom to cut myself anymore. I have learned to be able to talk to people about things. And the one thing that has made me feel very secure with this is I'm not embarrassed and I'm not ashamed. These are not things to be embarrassed or ashamed about. These are just, this is being human. Well, obviously this is a prevalent issue. When we're talking substance abuse, we're not just talking illegal drugs. It could be alcohol, it could be prescription drugs as well. So there's a gamut of things we need to consider in protecting children. Let me ask you this, what have we taught our kids since the age of two? Don't talk to strangers. I get goosebumps when I say that, right? But yet, for some reason, we just feel comfortable or okay with our kids meeting strangers online. Every day, thousands of Arizona kids will head off for school. Some will have a test to take. It won't be your typical test of reading, writing, math, or science. it will be a test of willpower, of resolve, of courage, as it relates to things like drugs and alcohol, suicide, and depression, eating disorders, and bullying. I know this because I work with a prevention education program called Not My Kid. Every day, thousands of kids make the decision to try a drug for the first time, and a local company is trying to help parents keep tabs on what their kids are doing. First of all, tell us what Not My Kid is all about. Not My Kid is a nonprofit that educates parents, faculty, and kids about behavioral health issues like substance abuse. And this is really close to home, this 420 day national get high day, because your son. Because I've been there. And I understand how kids can quickly get pulled into a world they don't know or understand exists. You have children. This is just very disturbing. What, what uh, Debbie is doing is she's partnered with Rural Metro, which is why uh, you've got the fire am the ambulance behind us, and also uh, a company called First Check. And you're giving out home drug tests. This is a nationwide effort that you're doing. Yes. So tomorrow in 15 markets, um, we will be giving away home drug test kits. 
as a deterrent, as an out, a real way for a kid to say no to their peers and not have to start down this path. One of the greatest things for me this last year, working with Not My Kid, is being able to meet community members, to be able to meet donors, um, people investing in our future. And some people have expressed that they want to be more involved in the process of what we do. So we created Lazy Link. Not My Kid is a, is a perfect organization for the Diamondbacks to, to align ourselves with. We both care deeply about the community. We both uh, care deeply about about children and about teenagers and about success. Um, I've always been so impressed with Not My Kid. The impact that they've had on, on families and on individuals' lives, bettering their lives, um, testimonials from individuals that have been through hard times, be it through substance abuse or binge drinking or uh, safe dating needs or self-injury, um, so many issues. Now bullying, the fact that they provide families with a, a safe outlet, you know, to provide them with drug testing kits or ideas to do so. We use that ourselves in our own family, but it's a perfect organization for the Diamondbacks to align with because we both care so much about making the Arizona community and really the national community for that matter a better place to live.